Hello and welcome to csecmathtutor.com. In this video, we will be looking at the solution for question one on the January 2024 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. It begins expressed as a single fraction in its simplest form 1 minus 1 over 30 plus 4 over 15 and from this we realize we need to work out the bracket first so we write it down 1 minus 1 over 30 plus 4 over 15 now from this you may choose to use the LCM if you're familiar with that right now it just seems easier if we rename this fraction 4 over 15 so that it has a denominator of 30 and the easy way to do that of course is just to multiply our numerator and denominator by 2 so we get a 30 there so we have 1 minus 1 over 30 plus 8 over 30 and that of course gives us 1 minus 9 over 30 which is equal to the same thing as 30 over 30, 30 over 30 is the same thing as 1, minus 9 over 30, which gives us 21 over 30. Now remember the question says in its simplest form, so we need to divide both of these. Uh, we can divide them by 3. So dividing by 3 here, three, 21 divided by 3 gives us 7, and 30 divided by 3 gives us 10. So our answer in its simplest form is 7 over 10. Moving to the next part, it says a two-story car park has a total of 1,020 parking spaces. At 6.30, in the one morning, one thirtieth of the spaces are filled. And during the next hour, no cars left, but another 4 15th of the spaces are filled. It's 1,020 spaces. Determine the number of parking spaces that are not filled at 7.30. Looking at this and writing it down, we realize that we need to add 4 over 15 plus 1 over 30 to get the number of spaces that are filled. And once you do that, spaces filled, you realize that you're dealing with the same exact same thing that you just did here. So just using that information there, since we did it already, um, this is equal to 9 over 30. And so when we did the subtraction, 1 minus 9 over 30 gave us 21 over 30, which was the same thing as 7 over 10. So this 7 over 10 now has a meaning in that it's the number of spaces or the fraction of spaces, fraction not filled. Um, because when we add these, this would be the fraction that is already filled. So we simply need to take our fraction, 7 tenths, and multiply it by the number of spaces in the, in the car park, which is 1,020. And do a simple division here. We end up with 102. And 102 multiplied by 7. 7 to is 14. And 7, 1, 7. And um, that is the number of spaces um, that are spaces that are not filled or not yet filled um, at, the car, at, the, at the car park. Moving on to the next part of the question, we have of the, of the 1,020 spaces, 20% 20 are on the top level. How many parking spaces are on the top level? So we need to find 20% of 1,020, which we can find by saying 20 over 100 times 1020 and of course we can divide here by 10 and divide this by 10 we get 102 then we can further divide here by 10 and this by 2 by 10 we get 2 so we actually are multiplying 102 times 2 which gives us 204 spaces at the top. Of course, when you're doing percentages, sometimes you can simply just change your percent to a decimal, and 20% is the same thing as 0 0.2. So 
So we can just simply say 1020 times 0 0.2. That's another way you could work it out. And this is a nice way to do them, especially for multiple choice papers um, here, where the number doesn't divide out easily. 200, 224s, 2, And of course, there's one decimal place. So we end up with our 204 spaces. All right, moving on to the next question. Some of the spaces are reserved for monthly paying customers. The ratio of reserved to non-reserved is 5 to 7. So reserved to non-reserved is 5 to 7. And of course, we want to find the non-reserved, adding the numbers in the ratio. 5 plus 7 gives us 12. And so if we want to find non-reserved, we need to say 7 twelves of 1020. Here we can do a division. Um, we can divide by 12. 1020 divided by 12 gives us 85. And so our answer now becomes 85 multiplied by 7. 7 5 is 35. So we write our 5. 78s are 56. 56 plus 3 gives us 59. And so these are the number of spaces that are not reserved or non reserved. All right. So we are finished with that part. Um, moving on to the other part. Here we have a table of costs. So if you park under 30 minutes, you are, you are free. But if you spend more than 30 minutes, up to two hours, there's a cost there and there's, there are costs all the way down. So there is this person, Michaela, who leaves the car park at 18.30 and pays $9.25, determine the earliest time she could have arrived at the car park. So if she pays $9.25 from the table, you realize that she has been there for between four to eight hours. So she could have been there for eight hours or just for four hours or in between. So since she leaves at 18.30, we need to take away this eight. The most time she could have possibly been there, take out eight hours from that, and that leaves us with 10.30, which means that the earliest possible time that she could have been there is 10.30. Um, hours or 10.30 a.m. Earliest time. All right. Moving on to the other part of the question, which is the last part of the question. Dan Raj, another person who uses the um, car park, bought a weekly parking ticket for $40. That week he visited the car park five times and the length of times he spent there are given here. Now remember, 25 minutes is free because up to 30 minutes is free. So this is free. So let's write free beside it. It's not going to pay for this. Seven and a, and a half hours is between four to eight hours. So it's going to pay $9.25 for that. 11 hours is between this one. That's $15 between eight and 24. 11 falls there. So it's going to pay fifteen dollars. Um, eight and three quarter hours also falls within this. So we're going to pay fifteen dollars again. And eight hours exactly leads us back to nine dollars and twenty five cents. So what we need to do now is add up these times, but the question continues to say, show that Dan Raj saved $8.50 by, by um, buying the ticket for the week. So we need to add up these numbers. So we have 9.25 plus 9.25 plus 15 plus 15. And that gives us 0.5 here. Five, yes, and 18 here, 28, 9 plus 9, 18, 18 plus 10, 
is 28. Carry a 2 there, 2 plus 2, that's 4. So um, the total cost for all these times is $48.50. Now, because he bought the ticket for the week, he paid $40. So we're going to take out the $40 from this. And you can see there that once you take the $40 out, he's going to be saving um, $8.50, as suggested by the question. So that brings us to the end of question one. Thank you for watching. If you know somebody, somebody who needs refreshing on these things or needs to find a solution, please share. And as you continue to work towards your exam, continue working hard and the best wishes.